my Rolex is in need of some warranty work. I've got the uh, GMT Master 2, the discontinued all black version, 116710LN. I've had it for about a year, and you know what? Actually, I've always kind of had this issue, but it seems to be a little bit, just a little bit more sticky nowadays. And it's not huge, but it has to do with the crown. And maybe, maybe some of you other owners out there have experienced this and uh, feel free to chime in, but I've noticed, uh, actually, let me just let me show you. When you unthread the crown, and it's it's in it's ready to be uh, utilized here. You can pop it to the first position, and then the second position is supposed to hack the movement. And of course, <laughs> when I'm doing it on camera, it works perfectly. Uh, maybe let's wind it a little bit. Try it again. Sometimes when you pop it out to the second position, really I can't. I'm putting some resistance on the crown, and it will not come out it's a little bit sticky you know it won't pop out to the last position to hack the movement uh sometimes i think maybe depending on where see i, I it should be hacked but it's still moving so something's something's wonky with my crown and i don't have to actually adjust the time very often since it's such a accurate watch so, you know, I don't experience the issue very often, but it's a $9,000 watch. Rolexes have buttery smooth op operation. You're not supposed to have sticky positions, uh, you know, little things like that. I've also noticed that occasionally I hear a higher pitched tick. Um, like if it's close to my ear, it's like if that makes sense, like it, it, the, the pitch changes, even though it's still operating at 20, uh, 28,800 beats per hour. So anyways, I'm just highlighting the issue for you guys. I'm going to be taking it to my authorized dealer where I bought it, which is great because I have a full five year warranty and they'll be able to sort me out, hopefully at the store on the, with their onsite watchmaker. If not, they'll have to send it out to Rolex. I think my district is Texas, but I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. It's just nice knowing that whatever's the issue, it will be completely covered by Rolex's uh, five-year warranty. So that is one reason why I actually like buying these luxury watches new, you know, as opposed to gray market or used or whatever. I mean, you can save a little bit of money, but it's nice having the factory warranty. In five years, you know, that's a good amount. So it's kind of a worry, a worry free thing in my opinion because any watch no matter what it is if it's a rolex if it's an ap if it's a paddock occasionally there'll be issues you know no brand and no watch is perfect so anyways guys i'm just showing you what is wrong with my watch i'm going to be taking this to the authorized dealer i'll keep you updated if any other gmt master 2 owners out there have had kind of a similar situation please chime in in the comments i'd love to read your experiences and uh until next time guys Take care.